right back into it. You know, let's keep this political talk going. Uh, let's talk about the Cuomo brothers. They just can't seem to catch a break. A former executive producer of ABC News, Shelly Ross, is accusing CNN's Chris Cuomo of once sexually assaulting her while they worked right. together get, get at ABC News. <laughs> and she's asking for him to journalistically repent. Ross stated, I was at the party with my husband who sat behind me on an ottoman sipping his Diet Coke as I spoke with work friends when Mr. Cuomo entered the Upper West Side Bar. He walked towards me and greeted me with a strong bear hug while lowering one hand to firmly grab and squeeze the cheek of my buttock. Now, she also stated that Cuomo told her, I can do this now that you're no longer my boss and did it with a kind of cocky arrogance. Now, Cuomo's brother, Andrew Cuomo, resigned as governor a month ago over sexual harassment claims. What are your thoughts on these new allegations against Chris? And um, what do you think about this? He has apologized in an email that uh, it was actually posted in 2005. He said he was just happy to see her and he was embarrassed by his actions. And she's bringing this up now. What do y'all think about this story? Listen, I don't believe it. And I am going to go on record saying this. And if he did do it, I don't care. I don't care. And I don't care because it is a concerted effort out there now when you want to take somebody down, scream sexual harassment. Claudia and Al both, I am sure if people go through all of our relationships and business interactions from now back 20 to 30 years, we have all at one point or another said something that can be misconstrued as sexual harassment or greeted somebody or touched somebody in a way that can be, look at this damn woman. She looked like Miss Frizzle mixed with Nanny McPhee. That man did not, look, look how fine Chris Cuomo is. What the hell he gonna do with Matilda ass? He needed it. It's about her, her buttock. You right. He touched your buttock because it's probably flat as a boy. Matilda, get off my damn line. Al, what you think? Well, unfortunately, Q in this instance, she she's telling the truth, um, and she has proof. She has proof. Well, listen, and he agreed that he did it. So there's, it's already been a confession. He said he apologized to her. He said that, uh, that he also apologized to the husband. I, I, I have mixed reviews here. And the reason why I have mixed reviews is because that, that family, I used to like that family as a New Yorker or having lived in New York for over 20 years, that you know, both him and his brother were people that I kind of, I, I admired. But look, if we, if we use the same, measuring stick that the other Me Too victims have used, that's sexual harassment. And if that's sexual harassment and she wants to bring a case forward, then she can. And there are consequences because he has agreed that he did it. So I have the email here that he wrote to her in 2005. He said that the, the title was, now that I think of it, I'm ashamed. He said, uh, though my hearty greeting was a a function of being glad to see you, you know, um, Christian Slater got arrested for kind of for a similar matter. Uh, unlike my own, he said that he didn't have a negative uh, intent of this. He said, and as a husband, I can empathize with, you know, uh, not liking to see my wife being padded. Uh, so pass along my apology to your very good and noble husband. And I do apologize to you as well for even putting you in such a position. Next time I will remember my lesson, no matter how happy I am to see you. Um, I I'm going to tell you this. I I've had actual sexual assaults. Um, and I've also been sexually harassed and I've had a lawsuit against a company before. Um, and when it's not rape, when it's a an incident of an inappropriate but pinch or a, something like that. Admit you said you admit what you did and say sorry, and we can move on. And he did just that. Now you can't uh, you can't apologize to me for a rape, but you can apologize me for a grazing, a pinch. That's it's inappropriate and it's disrespectful. But it's it shouldn't be this. I'm so traumatized. Sixteen years later, and oh, I, I can't move on. That's reserved for rape victims. And yeah. as a rape a, a rape victim. It is frustrating to me when these women that ha they were they were grazed, they were they they were pinched, and I'm not diminishing her issue, but a little bit I am, because there's a difference. I feel like everything's being thrown in one basket, and it's not the same. There are degrees to this, and it's been 16 years. He apologized, and she could have. I, I don't know. I just don't hold it as a rape or a molestation. I just don't. 
And I, and I do think that the fact that you even got an apology, I think he he was embarrassed for it. Yeah, I that's, think that's what issue, I think. I think for me, the issue here is unless you're going to press charges, then why are you bringing it up? Right. Right. What's like, the motive? why are you doing an open letter to dismin- diminish this man? She says she did it because of this, this shirt that he wore that had truth across it. And it triggered her because she feels like he's walking and, and being a two faced liar. And CNN has done an investigation in this. Like Claudia said, he you know, he has apologized the intent. My whole thing is you either need to do it all, which is have a claim, charge him with something. Or let's not put put this whole man out on the line like this, airing all his business out like this, making him out to be a bad person and some type of sexual abuser. When clearly, That's in this case, it, it could not be. It, this is not what it was. And again, my job is definitely to to, to you know defend the women and be come from that standpoint. Disrespectful, what he did, absolutely. Yeah. And when it happened to me, guess what I did that week. And I don't want to put a time limit, but it was a buck grab. It was from someone in power. I reported him and I got, I, I, I filed a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't get a buck grab 16 years later. I don't, I, I'm seeing these women that are coming out that are like taking out people over a graze or something like that. And I feel like the women that have actually been raped, it's almost like, oh, oh okay. You, you know, it's almost like, girl, please. Based on Sorry. She, looked, she ought to be glad somebody wanted to pat her on her buttock. <laughs> That's what flat white women's got. Buttock. <laughs> Put her on her buttock. Go to the next story, child.